It's New Year's. There were no deadly crashes reported in El Paso, and the police department is thanking you, the community. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap is live from West El Paso with more. The El Paso Police Department thanked those in the community who did not drink and drive this New Year's. They also applauded their DWI task force for keeping drunk drivers off the streets. On the morning of January 1st, the El Paso Police Department sent a tweet saying they were happy to report no special traffic investigations. Officers had to respond to any calls this New Year's, saying, quote, most importantly, thank you to all who didn't drink and drive. And El Pasoans say less people are taking the risk to drive intoxicated. From my own experience and just from my friends, we definitely use Ubers to go everywhere, so I definitely think that's helping to decrease the causes of all the wrecks and everything. The El Paso Police Department says in 2000. 15 special traffic investigators responded to one fatal crash at 1 a.m. New Year's Day. And in 2018, they responded to a fatal crash at 3 a.m. on New Year's Day, both in which alcohol was a factor. And some El Pasoans say because of the risk of drunk drivers on New Year's, they choose to stay home. I think, it's, I think people think that it's dangerous out on the road, but I also think that they don't want to have to go through the hassle. Some people are still driving drunk, but they're getting caught. The El Paso Police Department says on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, they made 17 DWI arrests. And those who didn't drink and drive say getting a ride is actually more convenient in El Paso, while others still don't think it's worth all the trouble of going out to ring in the new year. I think it's definitely convenience and then just not having to park if they're having to go somewhere. And it just, I think our generation feels like personally, like, what's the use of even driving if we're going to be drinking or going out? Like, might as well just take an Uber and it's that much easier. The deal with the, with the, you know, drivers having to deal with whatever crowds, wherever it is that they're going to go. So they, they would rather spend it at home. The El Paso Police Department tells me that driving intoxicated is dangerous and it puts everyone at risk, which is why they will continue to do their part in arresting those who choose to drink and drive in 2020. Reporting live from West El Paso, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News.